What's up Aquarius? It's your girl Sid from Savvy Sentient and welcome to your December 2021 money reading. This is for all the Aquarius. <laughs> Alright, if you are new here, hello and welcome. Please make sure that you subscribe and interact with the content. If you are not new here, thank you so much for all the support you've shown thus far. So this week in the description box, we have three items that I need you to be aware of. The first one is going to be, of course, the website. This is the only place you can book me now. Um, personal one-on-one -on -one readings will be there, as well as a, a bunch of other spiritual merch on the website. The second thing is uh, my direct me link, so you can follow me on all of my social media everywhere. And lastly, but certainly not least, I'd like to announce a giveaway that I'm doing in conjunction with Moonchild Healing Services based here in Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, we are going to pick three winners and we're giving away a one-on-one -on -one tarot reading as well as a Reiki session to all three of the winners. And then a grand prize winner is going to also win a spiritual gift box full of spiritual goodies. So if you'd like to participate in that, follow the link and good luck. So Aquarius, let's go ahead and get into your money reading. Let's get into your business real quick. See what's going on with your pockets real quick. <laughs> okay, so what is the overall energy spirit of this reading for the Aquarian Collective? Okay, flipping over in my hand. Aquarius. <laughs> what's happening? So the card that came out right over, flipped right over in my hand is the devil card. So the devil is a card of excess this is a card of bad habits vices your shadow side this can indicate that maybe you are overworking yourself doing too much or perhaps one of your vices are the reason why you are in the financial situation that you're in perhaps you drink too much party too much smoke too much or other things too much so whatever it is it's too much. <laughs> so let's see what's going on, Aquarius. I'm gonna be all in your business. All right, so what is the root spirit? What is the root cause of Aquarius's financial situation? Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, and what is it that Aquarius needs to do immediately? What does Aquarius need to do immediately? Ooh. What does Aquarius need to do immediately? Mm, what was that? Mm -hmm. Aquarius. Aquarius. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I know people hate when I do that. Like all the... Y'all be like, come on now, tell me, tell me. I'm, I'm getting to it. Okay, what are the obstacles that Aquarius has to deal with? What are the obstacles that Aquarius has to deal with? Mm. Mm -hmm. And where can Aquarius find help? <laughs> where can Aquarius find help? Alright, so off rip Aquarius, and this may not be everyone's story, um, but some of you all are trying to use your finances as a way to band-aid a situation, um, as a way to try to heal a karmic or toxic partnership. The root of your issue is the star. The star represents hope and healing, um, trying to make your wishes come true or wishes being recognized. The lover's card, however, is twin flame energy. This is karmic relationships, soulmate, but this is also a card of choice, all right? Having to choose, all right? So for some of you all, you are trying to You are trying to heal a situation using your finances, trying to throw money at the situation. Um, for others of you, 
there is something that you are trying to accomplish. There is a goal that you are trying to, to reach, a wish that you are trying to make come true. Um, this is something that you feel like is in alignment with you. This is like your destiny, what you were put here to do. So um, with the devil leading the reading, you may be overworking yourself to try to make this uh, dream a reality. Um, also, the star card is Aquarian energy. Um, so it's... You're, you're very much... Um, I kind of feel like it's... You're, you're feeling like you have no other choice. Like, th it's this or nothing. Um, so this is why you're so determined. Okay? Um, what you're needing to do... Whether this is the relationship or whether it, this is you chasing your dreams. Um, we have the justice in the reverse. And we have the wands. The ten of wands. So, um, major arcana cards are, when they show up in your reading, this is a cue for you to pay attention. And with the justice in the reverse, what you are doing now, the um, extra, the excess that you are exerting right now is actually not helping you. It's doing the opposite. It is becoming more of a burden for you. It is putting more on your shoulders than necessary. There's a lack of balance here. Um, so with that being said, Aquarius, sometimes you have to realize like less is more sometimes. You can't just work and work and work and work and think that because you put in all this time that it's going to work out because you have to understand that you are human. You are a human being and you have human needs, water, food, rest, <laughs> especially the rest. Uh, you really, you have to rest. You can't just go, 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 go. You're going to run out of fumes. Um, so the obstacle that you're facing here is the Ace of Cups with the Three of Pentacles. Trying to create a new beginning, whether it's a new beginning in love, a new beginning in your creativity. But you are not working as a team. Like, you're trying to do it all by yourself. The Three of Pentacles in reverse. Now, the Three of Pentacles is a card that speaks about um, different people coming together for uh, a collective purpose, okay? But each one of these people have strong points that they are contributing to the goal, to the overall purpose. And you, Aquarius, are trying to do it all yourself which goes back to the Ten of Wands and the Justice in Reverse. This is causing an imbalance. You're trying to put all the burden on yourself because perhaps you think the only way to do it, uh, to get it done right, is if you do it yourself. And that doesn't have to be the case, okay? You could definitely oversee, cross-reference, things like that. Um, but you, <laughs> trying to do it all yourself is depleting you and it's, counterproductive in turn this could be affecting your your business your job your your money um an example you own a shop you have employees but you don't think that your employees can do anything right which begs the question why do you even have employees but you have employees and you pay them to do a job but instead you do all of their jobs as well as your own job so now you're giving away money and then you are depleting yourself financially and energetically, okay? So you're depleting yourself and for what? Because you're, you're losing money now. Um, let's say like you have customers coming into this shop. You're trying to help the customers. You're trying, like you're trying to do everything, but because you can't be everywhere all the time doing everything, you could be losing money and you could be losing customers because you your quality of work is not what it could be if you just train people to do things the way that you want it done. I, that was a long analogy. Did that make sense? I hope it made sense. 
Um, but yeah, you're doing too much. So the word you're going to find help here is the Four of Cups and the World card. Now, the Four of Cups is disinterest, it's apathy. Um, but in this particular deck, this card for me is the board in the house in the house board card. She's sitting there. She doesn't look bored. She doesn't look like she's not content. Her and her little human boo are chilling and they look like they're enjoying each other and just enjoying the quiet. All right. With the world card, you have to com complete a cycle. There has to be an ending here. Um, there's something that you have to stop doing. And what that is, is overexerting yourself. Um, less is definitely more in this situation. So let's go ahead and get into your Moonology cards, Aquarius. I think enough has been said as far as the tarot goes. But let's see what the Moonology cards say about this situation. But definitely less is more. Whether this is business, work, even if it's a relationship that you are pouring into, um, could be financially, you're doing too much. You're doing too much. All right. So the very first card that comes out says it's time to release negativity. Okay. And part of that negativity could be your attitude of if you don't do it, then it's not going to get done right. This could mean that you need to have a little bit more faith in the people that you have around you, uh, the people that you hire, the people that you work with, uh, even the the person that you're dating, like it's time to release the ego. The if I don't do it right, no one else will. Um, also, the negativity is overworking yourself. Doing this is abusive <laughs> to yourself because you're not nurturing yourself and you're depleting yourself and thinking that you can still run on E. Like that's not healthy. That's negative. Okay. Um, also, meditate and contemplate. This is the new moon in Pisces card. So the new moon in Pisces is a card of balance as well. You see the two fish uh, in opposite directions, yin-yang energy. Another card calling you to bring some type of balance into your life. Also, meditation. Be still. Be still. Stop trying to do too much. All right. And finally, we have conclusions are within reach so when this card when i flip this card over what i felt like was if you don't listen to your body um to the universe because it gives you signs that you need to chill um if you don't listen it will do something to set you down. Whether you end up hospitalized because you're exhausted, whether, I don't know, your car gets impounded, like whatever it is, if you're not listening to the universe, to your higher self, to what whatever you acknowledge, if you're not listening when it speaks to you, it will do whatever it has to do to make you listen. So you're doing all of this extra and it's about to sit you down. So either you're going to willingly conclude this toxicity that you're doing, this excess, either you're going to do that willingly or the universe will come in and world card your ass. <laughs> all right. It will bring that shit to a halt real quick. So um, I had advice, listen to your body. Uh, listen to the universe, listen to your higher self, and take a break, okay? Um, let's go ahead and get a rebel message for you. Rebel, rebel, talk nice to Don. I don't care, but tell Aquarius what they need to hear. You're being shady. Watch out, shit could get ugly. <laughs> I don't know who that's for. Pretty specific. Perhaps the work that you're doing, the reason why you're going so hard is being fueled from a place of um, bitch watch this. And then also, <laughs> you equals tight ass. Loosen the fuck up. Control freaks don't get laid. Can't control everything, Aquarius. What I said, you can't do it all. You can't control everything. 
All right. So let's go ahead and get your advice. Advice for Aquarius, please. Advice for Aquarius. Advice for Aquarius. Advice for Aquarius. So. Mm. It's everything man in reverse for me. Um. Okay, so we have the Ace of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles. Also, earlier in the reading, we had the Ace of Cups. So this is all indicative of new beginnings. However, um, the Ace of Swords is in the reverse. So this can indicate negative thinking. Um, it could be the way you talk to people. It's very uh, brash. Communication is negative. We also have the Five of Pentacles in reverse, so this is coming out of insecurity, um, coming out of a place of lack. And then we have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. This is a failure to start, okay? Um, I really feel like, especially as we come into the Winter Solstice, um, that this message here is telling you to, to stop. To breathe. This is not the the time for new for new things with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, um, and with the Ace of Swords, like that negative, like if I don't do it, it won't get like that attitude that you have, that uh, mentality that you have. It's time to come out of that. And with the uh, Five of Pentacles in the reverse, this is like more secure. This is more. Um, like stable emotionally. So basically what I'm feeling like is your advice is to change the way that you're thinking. I mean, same shit I've been saying this whole reading. Change the way that you're thinking, change the way that you're talking. Um, I don't feel like the except the excess that you are exhibiting necessarily comes from lack. For some of you all, it may be you may be motivated motivated by what you don't have right now. But and I understand that it could be hard to just stop working when you don't have. But the energy of this reading, the whole thing is like stop Aquarius stop <laughs> you make me yell stop take a moment to breathe relax and take care of yourself before you crash okay this is not the time for new projects you you need um a self-care <laughs> you need some self-care you need to, to to take care of yourself before you crash um and it's really just that simple. I don't really know what else to tell you, Aquarius. Like, this is just not the time. It's not the time. I mean, not saying not to work on the things that you're working on. Go ahead and work. But, like, if you have a job, maybe don't pick up that extra shift. Maybe use that day to rest. If you have a business, maybe, you know, train your staff to be able to run without you for at least a day. Build that kind of trust with them. And if this is a relationship, slow down. Maybe don't try to shower this person to make it work. Maybe step back. So yeah, Aquarius, that's what I have for you. That's your reading. If this resonates for you, please let me know how in the comments below. Make sure that you like, share, subscribe. Do participate in the giveaway. And until the very next time I read for you all, I'm wishing you all love and light and everything right. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.